Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So exciting news, Lady M and I have got a £500, £2 coin hunt, but they are in sealed bags. We've now got ourselves a business, business account. This is the first time we've been able to order coins from the bank and seal bag and seal bags inside. So RBS, hey doc, 002, 500 pounds of two pounds on the 6th of the 4th, 20 at 15, 13 is hopefully going to bring us some fantastic, amazing luck and help me complete my album because I just need Commonwealth Games Wales and ideally a Navy Centenary with a flag error and I am completely done. And that means that I can smash Ellie into smithereens in her book because she still needs Commonwealth Games Wales as well as Rio and the Navy Centenary and one with the flag error. All the commemoratives have got the writing around the outside, the right way up. Mine are upside down. So hopefully, hey doc will bring us some luck. So Lady M, let's get into it. Okay. Right, do the honours. Look at that. First first time we've ever had this, isn't it? First time we've ever had seal bags. I think... Uh, full, yeah. full, two, full 500 of seal bags. We've got some seal bags, haven't we? But not many. Yes, that's seal true, yeah. Two. Yeah, so we've never had a, a seal bag full of seal bags. Yeah. So let's see what, what do we can have. Little sneaky look so I can see one there. Look, there's a Trinity Lighthouse. Exciting, exciting times. Have they got little rips in or they? No. Nah, that's because they're northern, you see. <laughs> Rock hard northern, don't have that little little slit in for the for the southerners. You know, the, the Christopher Collects and Total <laughs> Coins and Absolute Coins of this world. Uh, not Absolute Coins, sorry. Total Coins and Coins to Collect. Wouldn't say me against Al. Whew, he's massive. Um, <laughs> he uses scissors. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but he's still massive. I ain't, I, I ain't arguing with him. This is it. Rugby World Cup. And there's that Trinity Lighthouse that I spied earlier. Quite a desirable coin. Not worth a great deal of money, three or four pound maybe, although it is above face value. But uh, it's, it's a lot of people's favourite. We were going to visit a Trinity Lighthouse, weren't we, at one point? We decided we were going to go and have a look at one. Uh, I think we probably will at some point later on in the year. Did you have a look? Was I right? It is the loads of them around the country. I don't know. I was just looking in one specific area ah, where right. we're travelling to. Because Trin it's Trinity Lighthouses. It's the company is called Trinity, I think. And they do several lighthouses around the... Oh, that is screaming fake, Lady M. Oh, yes. So I think to myself, how, how do you get a fake in a... I know, from in, a cash in a centre. Bank, in a bank bag, in a, in a cash centre, yeah. Unless, it, obviously, it's, it's really good in the way. So we'll have a look on the... So let's do an edge hunt, see what uh, we can see. So it should say it's standing on the shoulders of giants or something else if it's a if it's a commemorative coin. So it looks like all the others say standing on the shoulders of giants. But this fella here, here, it's certainly there's something written where it's not as pronounced. That kind of reeded edge is quite pronounced, where it's quite subtle on the others. And you can see where the colour's gone to get. So this is going to be a fake that will get added to our... The Lady M's book because Lady M holds all the holds all the fakes and the um, <laughs> oh yeah, it's awful, isn't it? I think the Queen's do. Uh, yeah. Oh, is that? Wasn't sure whether it was a double die adverse as well for the two thousand and ten. No, I don't think it is. So yes, Lady M keeps all keeps a date run that she's got as well as all the fakes and any territory coins, and that is just simply awful, isn't it? The Queen is just really, really poor. Two thousand eleven, which is not unheard of. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the it's colour is a common one, isn't it? Oh, the colour. The, ooh, Lady M's found something. The colour's an absolute mess. So yeah, and, and, and but you get a chance to win this because it's Lady Lady M's. Um, oh, nice. We do not find many of them. Now it's got a nasty scratch right across the middle. But nice to find though. Yeah. Our first chance of getting a Shakespeare mini set because we just don't find the skulls. Yeah. So I was just saying, so you will get a chance to win the. All our fakes and the, the definitive date run from Lady M's book because it will be up for grabs in our 2000 subscriber giveaway. Charles Dickens. So if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. And once we get to 2000 subscribers, we will the prize will be up for grabs. Oh, 
lovely. Look at that. That is nice. The underground rondo. This, this is the one with my and the gap around the outside. Uh, yes. Yeah. Oops. So this uh, is a bit of a change of look, the, these saying? seal bags. Yeah, mind, yeah. Mind the gap. So what it says on the, if you get the tube in London, mind the gap. Uh, like that one. So we find a lot of the, uh, not a lot, but a fair amount of the train, but it's sister coin, the round over the sign, we don't find many of. So yes, a little bit of a change of look when it comes to these, these seal bags, Lady M, I'm loving mm -hmm. them already. And of course, you know, so, no one's hunted through them. Yep. You guarantee no one's done it because they've come from a cash centre. Ooh, we've got a nice coin coming up. 2016. Nice condition as well. So this will be a Great Fire of London, a Shakespeare or a Britannia, something like that. So you've got a chance of another Shakespeare coin and it's a Britannia, nice. Mm -hmm. Around about three million of them in circulation. That's it. And DNA double helix. Oh, a deoxyribonucleic acid. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah, liking this, like it's been worth all. It took us oh, weeks, a couple of months to go through all the hoops of opening a business account. And it's already been worth it, Lady M. Yeah. This is super duper exciting. Another Trinity Lighthouse. Sky Fox. Oh, we've got something interesting there I've seen on the edge, Lady M. Mm -hmm. So we've got the world the word world on it. So it could be all the world's a stage. It could be. Um, to do with the Shakespeare. Although mm -hmm. it says, oh yeah, no, it's got his world's. Uh, I think it could be calling upon the youth of the world as well, which is an Olympic coin. But I reckon we've got ourselves uh, an Olympic here, Lady M. Uh, Olympic, sorry, a uh, uh, Shakespeare. Yeah. Let's have a look. Here it is, JC Portrait and Comedies. Yeah. So even though it's a different bank, Totally never ever got coins out of it. Using our business account, seal bags, we still end up with comedies. Charles Darwin. I do hope we can get the uh, histories that we found loads in the last few hunts, haven't we? Maybe it was <laughs> yeah. more like maybe it's twenty I reckon we found twenty histories in the la in the last few hints. Mm -hmm. That's probably an exaggeration. But I think we've had it got it at least six or six or seven in one hunt, I think. Mm, maybe, yeah. Yeah, fair few. yeah sure. definitely. We definitely have 15. So now's the time because that would be brilliant if we can complete a little mini set, a two pound mini set. Another guy, Fox. Oh, I've got another guy, Fox, as well. Not totally unusual because it is a common one. Some people like them because you get the Pamemba, so there looks it looks like a P instead of an R, a Pamemba coin. And I do think it's an error. I do th I do think it is a weak strike strike and classed as an error. But don't pay any more much any more than face value of it. There's over five million of them coins in circulation, so they are easily found. Do not pay over the odds. Oh, this is going to be a commemorative coin because you've got two pounds written on the obverse, and it's a kitchenette. Hope to find a mule one day, so it won't have two pounds written on there. But I'll have Kitchener on the reverse. There's another Trinity Lighthouse. Snap of the last bag, Lady M, as well. Mm -hmm. And there's a commemorative in it. I can see I've seen a date at the back there. So there's definitely a commemorative coin is the last coin. So as we go through, oh, the last coin is a commemorative. So as we go through the last bag, big thank you and a shout out to all our members. Really appreciate those of you that have joined the channel. Anyone who hasn't joined, if you want to, uh, as I find another fake, that is definitely another fake. So yeah, it's 99 pence a month if you want to join. You get some exclusive emojis when you put uh, when you put a comment in, on, in, a, in a video or on a live stream. But also you get a chance to take part in an exclusive members-only prize draw. And uh, you get to win one of our plum finds. 
Oh, I don't think I've seen the 2008 before. I've looks if you've got a 2008. So that's definitely a fake. The, 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 the portrait of the Queen is really poor. The IRB at the bottom, I'll just borrow Lady M's, Lady M's little stick there. The IRB there is all mashed and non-existent. See, the quality is not good. What's the right round like the outside? Yeah, the, rim, the rimmer. So there, the, you can see where it says shoulders. It's not straight, it's not bang in the middle. A definite, definite fake. So that's something I did not expect to find, Lady M, in bank bags, I must admit. I thought they would go through some uh, uh, rut seal bags. I expected uh, to see. I've got one, 2008. Right. I expected to see uh, no fakes, so I did not expect to see any fakes, as though they went through some other like security or something. Yeah. Right, our last commemorative is Tron Helmets. So I've seen the date there for the for the uh, for the army centenary there, First World War. This is the army army coin, shoulder to shoulder. Tron helmet, as I like to call it. So, so it looks like the helmet's out of uh, out of Tron. So that's uh, that's not too bad, lady, is it for our for, for our first little you know a solid enough start? What we what we doing for the plum find? I think it's got to be that. Definitely, yeah, definitely. That uh, that is a, a plum find indeed. Yeah. I'm going to give a shout out yeah. to the skulls because we hardly ever uh, hardly ever get skulls. Can't remember the last time we got one. No, honourable mention for the 2016 Britannia. Yeah. So there we go. That's that's the plum find. All aboard, all aboard. So if you like our videos and you want to see some more, you should see something now in front of you. You can one you can subscribe. It's usually down here, and they'll have some other videos around the outside including a playlist of some of our previous coin hunts. So do please click on them and have a Lady M's laughing. I'm not sure. Oh. She's laughing at my finger in. Anyway, so thanks very much. We'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>